Good evening, everybody. I'd like to uh, welcome you, welcome you to uh, Lasco Library, Hurt Auditorium. Um, I'd like to thank you guys for thanks for coming down here tonight in the uh, great eerie weather. Um, I thought about postponing it, but I said, you know what, when, when we do gigs around town and the weather's bad, we just do it, we keep going. So uh, we decided that that would be, actually, she's coming in right now, Brittany Morton. She said, Mo, uh-uh, the show got to go on tonight. <laughs> so when she said that, I told her, I said, man, the spirit that came through that phone felt like my mother talking to me. So I said, I got to go, got to do it. I'd like to thank you for coming. Uh, we have a good night here planned. We're going to honor some great musicians that have impacted the Erie community. Some of my favorite people, not only good people, they're great artists. They've done a lot for our community. Um, this is the third year for this program, and we hope that it will continue to grow and we'll continue to honor those who deserve honor. At this time, um, I had a young lady from Erie High School who was going to sing the national anthem, but she had to work tonight, and they wouldn't let her off. So I contacted one of Erie's greats at the last minute. And he said, yes, I'll come down and help you out tonight, Mo. So I really appreciate him. The lead, one of the lead singers from The Groove, one of the tri-state area's best, Mr. Roy Hollis, will be singing the national anthem. Who say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail? At the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, all the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave. All the land of the free and the home of the brave. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, Roy. I don't know if, if you've ever watched Roy on stage. Man, he is a master musician. I'm going to tell you. He knows what everybody is supposed to be doing at all times. And when certain parts come up in the song, he'll look at that person to make sure they play it. So you, he watches everybody. The little parts that nobody cares about, he cares about. Okay, at this time, I'm going to bring uh, Miss Carol Troop to the stage. She is the founder of Odessa's Place which is a nonprofit located on at 628 West 18th Street in Erie, right next to the International Bakery. It's been there 14 years now. Carol is a retired public school teacher and principal, Erie's Public Schools. She also happens to be the woman who told me, you're going to be a king one day. That's what she used to tell me all the time. Miss Carol True. 
Good evening. I'm going to be brief. You know, it's just honorable to be here to celebrate for this third year black history program through music. Why? Because music crosses all barriers. It crosses everything. And it connects all people. No matter what's going on, when you hear music, you're connected. We have great people here being celebrated. And I'm just glad to be here to see them. So let's just sit back. Let's enjoy ourselves. You know the weather is bad. We're looking past that. And let's celebrate each other through music. God bless. Just to uh, a little bit about Odessa's place. Um, it was named after my late grandmother, Odessa Meredith, who was a well-known uh, singer, choir director, community active, activist in the Erie community. When I, when I go around town, a lot of people say, man, the reason why I sing today is because of your grandmother. And she, she actually recorded, she was a recording artist, so my mother can sing too, I might ask her to come back up here and sing. They, they had a, uh, a singing group called the Merit of Singers. It was a gospel group a while back. Okay, at this time, we're gonna have a selection by a young man who is a high school student at this time. He's written his own songs. His name is Young Scala. He's gonna do a, one of his original songs for you. How's everybody doing today? Yeah, I feel it. Does anybody in here love life? I'm guessing everybody. A few people, yeah. They asked me what I love about life. Something about this world made me feel all right. Cause I'm chilling in the hood, yeah. Riding on some bikes. Then I'm hitting up the court and shooting around with the guys. Oh my. You know I never told a lie. Something about rapping just really gets me hype. And that's why I'm feeling like the man when I write. Make them dance, make them do the running man some light. But all these people chasing hundred bands in the ice. All I ever wanted was to buy the fam some nice, yeah. Though I'm a young and it's more to me than what it seemed. Got crazy flow even though your scholar is just a teen. I love eating and love sleeping and that's on me. I love winning and love living and chasing dreams. I love rapping and love snapping, it's in my jeans. If you think you better than me, then show me by all means I love life Yeah, you can tell by my vibe If you love life, you ain't gotta keep it inside So if you love life, put your hands up high Put your hands up high Put your hands up high I said I love life Yeah, you can tell by my vibe If you love life, you ain't gotta keep it inside So if you love life, put your hands up high Put your hands up high Put your hands up high Hey. People fighting over nothing and I don't understand it And that's why I'm living happy Tell them off this planet while I paint the world a different color Like it was my canvas Paint, but all these people spend their time fighting for what? Killing and robbing people just to make a few bucks Have the kids watching them so they turn to corrupt People not loving life, honestly it just sucks And that's why I'm here to spread the happiness But first I gotta make sure my family is the happiest Mom said that something was special under the nappiness So I'm had to spit cause some rappers is inadequate I'm off that, bringing good vibes only. We all love life, so you ain't gotta be lonely. We in with the good, out with the unholy. I'm flaunting my happiness, yeah, like it was a trophy. I love life, yeah, you can tell by my vibe. If you love life, you ain't gotta keep it inside. So if you love life, put your hands up high. Put your hands up high, put your hands up high. I said I love life, yeah, you can tell by my vibe. If you love life, you ain't gotta keep it inside. So if you love life, Put your hands up high, put your hands up high, put your hands up high, hey. Give it up for Young Scholar, that takes a lot of, you know. Okay, next on your, uh, your program is Mr. Roger Montgomery. 
Um, unfortunately, Roger uh, is sick and he couldn't be here tonight. So he, he, was, he wanted me to express his love to everybody. We're still gonna read his bio and stuff anyways and I'll get his award to him. Um, I got a special connection to Roger because when I began to play on the music scene, I was a drummer when I first got on the music scene. And uh, he used to have a jam session every Sunday at a place called the Beer Mug. And that was where, I always tell Roger, I say, Roger, you raised a whole generation of musicians, man. And they all have their own bands now. And that was where I met a lot of people that I play with in the music scene now. Um, once, once I started playing over there, there were guys who were looking for drummers. I found work there. So Roger did a lot. I mean, no, no matter what your level was, he would always allow you to play. If you were the greatest musician or you just started, he gave you a chance. And the first thing he ever told me was when I did my first gig with him, I think Barry King told me the same thing. He said, Mo, all I want you to do is play the simplest drum beat you can play and don't do anything else. I'll take care of the rest of it. And, and I did that, and a lot of the drummers around town used to say, man, you're not a good drummer. You, don't, you can't play that good. But when it came to getting hired, guess who was getting all the bookings? Because, see, when you're playing drums, you can't be all over the place. Got to keep it in the pocket, like James Brown said. So that's what I learned from Roger and other guys like that. So reading uh, Roger Montgomery's bio, will be Pam Davis from the Breeze Band. Good evening. Okay, Roger Montgomery. He got his start with the blues when he first heard Mississippi John Hurt in 1966. Acu acoustic blues intrigued him. He spent many a day at the record player learning from the masters. Throughout the 70s, he did what most musicians did, played popular music of the day until, until 1977 when my band Reality opened for the King of Blues, B.B. King, at the Warner Theater. It was then he decided he wanted to dedicate his life to the blues. His goal was to be an old black bluesman. <laughs> Through the years, he got to meet and play with many of the, his blues idols and share the stage with Johnny Clyde Copeland, Otis Rush, Lonnie Shields, John Brim, Big Jack Johnson, R.L. Burnside, David Thomason, and in the 90s he toured with the country. In the, in the 90s he toured the country, and Canada in the best blues clubs in America. He heard about, but never saw, most are gone. That was about the clubs. I hold to the Blues Jams in Old Beer Mug for 17 years and five years at the Docksider. So many musicians got their start on stage with the Blues Jams and many have their own blues bands now. Blues has been very good to him and his constant campaign through thick and thin, good or bad, happy or sad. It's Roger Montgomery. Okay, here, here's the, the plaque that Roger would have gotten. It just says, Musical Excellence Award presented to Roger Montgomery in recognition of your dedication, excellence, and lifelong contribution to music. February 2020, thank you from Odessa's Place and Maurice True. Let's give him another round of applause. Okay, Roger was going to do a couple selections for you, so I wanna do some blues in his honor. We have Mr. Barry King, uh, who's going to do a couple blues songs for you. Barry is a well-known musician around town, originally from Chicago, Illinois. One of my musical mentors. He's going to be accompanied by Kenny Hollis on guitar and Clarence Jennings Jr. on drums. And they'll let, they'll let me play the bass with them. All right, then, since I'm going to try to hold up some big shoes by a big foot, <laughs> a little something like this.
mama told me you can't know where you're going till you know just where you've been for I need a little loving Oh, to make my land. While I'm walking and talking and singing the blues, everything's wrong, nothing's going my way. Why I need a little loving just to make my day? Why I'm walking and talking and singing the blues? I need a woman. Come on, baby, take my hand. I need a woman, you need a man. But together, we'll make a better plan. Oh, Lord. But the blues was made for me. While I'm walking and talking and singing the blues, that's why I'm walking and talking and singing the blues. While I'm walking and talking and singing the story that goes behind this song. I ain't gonna stretch it out, but it happened down in Memphis, played in the club, B.B. King walked in, I had a song of his in the set, I took it out, he told me to go ahead and put it back in if I could play it and sing it, so I said, okay. Uh, <laughs> it goes like this, one, two,
when you're dead, you're done. So let the good times roll. Baby, let the good times roll. I don't care if you're young or old. Baby, let the good times roll. Don't sit back mumbling, talking trash. You want to have some fun, you got to spend some cash. So let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. I don't care if you're young or old. Baby, let the good times roll. Kenny Hollis. Some cash, so let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. I don't care if you're young or old, baby. Let the good times roll. I let it roll, let it 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 roll. I don't care if you're young or old, baby, let the good time roll. Hey, everybody. I say everybody. B.B. Yeah. King's in town. Because I'm not B.B. King, but, you know, I'm going to try to play like B.B. King. Got a dollar for and I'm the clown. Don't let nobody play me cheap. I got 50 cents or more than I'm gonna keep. So let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. I don't care if you're young or old. Baby, let the good times roll. Let it roll, let it 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 roll. I don't care if you're young or old, baby, let the good time go. for Mr. Barry King playing some blues for you, huh? And Mr. Kenny Hollis and CJ. <laughs> you know, I consider myself very lucky to be playing music with Kenny and Barry. As Kennedy Thompson would say, when it comes to R&B, blues, soul, he says, some people hold the scrolls. I got to be around Rusty Jackson, Kenny Hollis, Barry King, 
Chick and Tate, people who really knew how to play soul music. And I met Mr. Roy Hollis later on in life. You know what I mean? So, and they all been pouring into me. I'm so glad that, and I got to watch Kennedy's band just, they showed me One World Tribe, who we're gonna honor today, how to own, how to own a venue. I mean, they used to own it. Uh, at this time, we're gonna do a tribute, little couple song tribute to Aretha Franklin. Okay, we're gonna have the Breeze Band come up, and we're gonna be accompanied by Miss Monica Lewis from Stiletto for the first song. She's gonna do Chain of Fools. And then the second song will be Respect, and it's gonna be a combination of Respect and Rock Steady by Rosia Crockett. Chain, chain, chain. A chain, chain, chain. A chain, chain, chain. A chain of fools. For five long years, I thought you were my man. But I found out, yeah, I'm just a link in your chain. You got me where you want me I ain't nothing but your fool You treated me mean, yeah Well, you treated me cruel So chain, chain, chain A chain, chain, chain A chain, chain, chain Chain of fools. Now every chain has got a weak link. I might be weak, child, but I'll give you all my strength. Tell me to leave you alone. My mama said, Come on home. My doctor said, take it easy. Whoa, but your loving's much too strong. I'm out of two, you chain, chain, chain. A chain, chain, chain. A chain, chain, chain. Chain of fools. Ladies and gentlemen, aren't they awesome? Thank you. 
Check Monica out around town with her band Stiletto. She has her own band, and she does her thing by herself. She's a guitar player and a singer all by herself. And every time I call on Monica to do something, she's always there. That's one thing about the musicians in the area. They will, we come together when we need to to help each other out. So thank you very much.
and take a ride And while you're moving, rock steady Rock steady, baby Let's call the song exactly what it is What it is, what it is, what it is It's a funky and don't doubt feeling What it is In my hips from left to right What it is What it is is I might be doing What it is Just funky dance all night Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, at, at this time, we're going to honor a young lady who I met, um, I don't know, I guess it was about 13 or 14 years ago, at the Bay Breeze Lounge. Anybody remember the Bay Breeze Lounge? Anybody remember? And uh, be before we do that, though, I want to say um, uh, Stephen Trahosky, we're going to read his bio after we get done honoring this young lady. Also in the house tonight, Michael Lee Gavin. She was sick tonight, but she did come. She's from Greater Calvary uh, Full Baptist Church. She was supposed to do the, uh, um, she's supposed to do a song for us tonight, but raise your hand so they can see you. She still came anyways to support. I got out of order, but that's all right. So about 14 years ago at the Bay Breeze, uh, Barry and I and Clarence had a band called Swag. And uh, the owner of the Bay Breeze came to me and said, hey, I want you to put this band together and I want you to play. It's this jazz out there called Hidden Beach Jazz. And what it is is they, they take current R&B songs and they take the lyrics out of it and they turn it into a real funky type of jazz like they call it smooth urban jazz that people in the inner cities are listening to now. And so we put that together and it became a big hit. And then one day, this girl came, this young lady with these real nice pretty eyes. <laughs> and she said, um, excuse me, sir, is your name Mo? I said, yeah. She said, well, I heard you the guy that can help people get in some bands, man, you know? I said, yeah, I, you know, I got a band out there. And, and uh, she said, well, I'm trying to get in the band. And uh, at first I was like, eh, you know, but then when she got in the band, I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> what she does on the stage is unbelievable. Like when you watch a basketball team and – there's LeBron James, and then there's, there's ba pro basketball players, then there's LeBron James. She's a LeBron James when it comes to bands. Okay? And uh, who I'm talking about is Brittany Heidelberg Morton. And she's one of the lead singers for The Groove. And I... Uh, told Brittany the other day, I don't even know if she knows the impact that she's had on the Erie community with what she's been doing, singing with the groove. For lady singers and just for R&B, keeping R&B alive in Erie, her impact is huge, along with her, with Mr. Roy Hollis also.
So reading her bio tonight is Miss Rosia Crockett from the Breeze Band, who I understand is a relative of hers, a cousin. So I'm wondering if there's any other ladies in that band, in that family that can sing, because I want to see them. <laughs> Miss Rosia Crockett from the Breeze Band. Good evening. Singer, songwriter, entertainer, Brittany L. Heidelberg Morton, AKA Honeybee, was born in November 1988 and raised in Erie, Pennsylvania by her mom, Lisa A. Heidelberg, and dad, Donald E. Morton Jr., hence the hyphenated name. Brittany started singing at a very early age. Her mom recalls the first time she heard her sing while riding in the back seat as she drove. There was a song playing on the radio, and suddenly, this sweet little voice started singing the words along with the song. Her mom jokingly says she looked in the rearview mirror and said, Baby, we are going to Hollywood. Brittany's talents landed her a partial tuition scholarship to St. Peter's Cathedral and a spot in their school choir. She went on to compete and take first place in a talent show hosted by Villa Maria Academy. Brittany has to date had a pretty illustrious career in music from singing the national anthem before grade school, high school, college and semi-pro league basketball games to winning Erie Idol in 2011. Brittany takes pride in her vocal ability and is asked if she has taken vocal lessons. The answer is no. She has self-taught herself all the waves she blows. Behind the scenes of all this, she would record original music in the studio and perform at various underground venues that support R&B and hip hop performers. For a short time, she was part of a jazz R&B band named Swag. The list of accomplishments continued as she went on to audition and land the lead female vocalist slot with the Rock Erie Music Awards Hall of Fame Best Cover Band, The Groove. As a solo artist, Honey Bee, she won Rima for Best R&B Artist and went on to earn the distinction of being inducted into the Rock Erie Music Awards Hall of Fame for Best Female Vocalist. Gaining fans from many areas, she sold over 300 copies in two weeks with the first solo project, Brittany Morton Introduces Honey Bee, and later dropping a successful Christmas project too. Britt is a very proud mother and is presently working on another solo project that will feature her soon-to-be four-year-old son, King. Please join me in welcoming to the stage this beautiful, gifted, vibrant young lady, who is my family proud to say, Brittany Heidelberg Morton. Thank you, Rosia. This award, Brittany, uh, uh, there's been about 10 different women in Erie that have really, uh, I told you this today, that have really impacted my career as a musician. And you are one of those women. Even though we don't play together anymore, you always, we're always part of the same family. You know that. So the Musical Excellence Award is presented to Ms. Brittany Morton in recognition of your dedication, excellence, and lifelong contribution to music, February, February 2020. Thank you from Odessa's Place and myself. Thank you very much. This is really great. Can you hear me? Oh man, this is awesome. Um, I told Mo, I feel I'm too young for something like this. I know it's not like an Essence Award or whatever, but still it's just, I, I don't know, I'm very honored to have it and for him to recognize me and even ask me to be here. Um, I talked to a woman at work because I was sharing with other people how I felt 
I'm just too young for this. And uh, she was like, you've made so many different age groups move. And I mean, thanks to Roy and the groove, I'm able to do that. We do make kids that are three to people who are 70, 80, you know, move and dance and enjoy themselves. And when she let me know that, I was like, you know what? I guess I do do something. <laughs> so uh, thank you very much. Oh. Don't y'all want to hear, oh, don't y'all want to hear Brittany do a couple songs? Yeah. All right. We're going to bring up the, the old band Swag, and we're going to do a couple songs for you right now. Sorry, Barry. <laughs> I will love you anyway, huh. even if you can't not stay. Uh, I think you are the one for me. Huh. Here is where you are to be. I just want to satisfy you, because you're not mine and I can't deny it. Huh. Don't you hear me talking, baby? Love me now or I'll go crazy Whoa, whoa, sweet thing Don't you know you're my everything Whoa, wow, sweet thing Don't you know you're my everything Yeah, yeah, yes you are Yes you are you were my lover, but you act so undercover, yeah, I love your child my whole life long, be it right or be it wrong, I'm only what you make me, baby, don't walk away, don't be so shady, don't want your mind, I don't want your money, these words I say, they may sound funny, but whoa, whoa, sweet they, yeah, don't you know you're my everything, whoa, how sweet they, don't you know you're my everything? Yeah, yes, you are. Yes, you are, baby. I love your child my whole life long Be it right or be it wrong I just wanna satisfy you Cause you're not mine, I can't deny her Don't you hear me talking, baby? Love me now or I'll go crazy yeah, yeah. See you on my fire I can't deny yeah. Oh yeah Love, 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 love me You're my fire I can't deny You're my fire I can't deny you Yeah La 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 Love me Don't you hear me Don't you hear me La 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 Your mama 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 sweet thing Your mama 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 sweet thing Yeah 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 
I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. It's like super cold out and windy. And uh, this is just so cool. Last year was cool. This year's cool. I hope you keep this going. <laughs> yeah, love me now or I'll go crazy. Thanks. <laughs> been a while with this one. Real love. I'm searching for a real love. Someone to set my heart free. Real love. I'm searching for a real love. We were lovers through and through And though we made it through the storm I really want you to realize I really want to put you on I've been searching for someone To satisfy my every need Won't you be my inspiration Be the real love that I need yeah, Real love hey, hey, yeah. I'm searching for a real love yeah. Someone to set my heart free, real love. I'm searching for a real love. Yeah. Ooh, when I met you, I just knew that you would take my heart and run. Until you told me how you felt for me, you said I'm not the one. So I slowly came to see all of the things that you are made of. And now my hopes and dreams and inspiration lead me to want some real love. I'm searching for a real love. Someone to set my heart free, real love. Hey, I'm searching for a real love. I got to have a real love, love so true, and oh baby, I thought your love was true, I thought you were the answer to the question in my mind, but it seems that I was wrong, if I stay strong baby, I'll find a real So I tried my best to pray to God, please send me someone real to caress me and to guide me. Cause I love my heart, can feel. Now I know I can be faithful, I can be your all in all. I'll be your lover through the summertime, winter, spring, and fall. Oh, la, la, la. Oh, love. I'm searching for a real love, real love, real love. Searching for a real love, love, love. Someone that set my heart free, real love. I am searching for a real love, yeah. Real love. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks, Mo. Forgot to uh, read uh, Mr. Stephen Trahosky's bio. Steve couldn't be here tonight. He uh, called me today and told me that you know he came down with a flu bug. 
You know, I don't know if you know, but Steve's had some things go on in his family recently, too. So he's going through a whole lot right now. So uh, for him to even really even consider being here is to show what type of guy he is. Um, anytime I call on Steve, we do a lot of events. Steve says, Mo, whatever I can do for community, I'm going to help you out. So um, one of the things I know about Steve is he loves jazz. That's the music of choice that he loves. And I just happened to walk into the Dock Center about 20 years ago, and he had this band playing. I didn't know Steve at the time. All I know is it sounded, I mean, it sounded spectacular. And the thing about Steve, so people like me and people like The Groove and other bands, we play with the same band all the time. If you know anything about Steve, it could be a different lineup every time he plays. And everybody he plays with, and every time he plays, it sounds top notch. That just tells you the type of musicians they are to be able to do that, to pick up and do that. So reading Steve Trahosky's bio is Pam Davis. Also, Steve is the owner of Art Lore Studio out on Westlake Road. So he's doing that now. He's selling artworks of local people and also promoting local musicians at his place. So if you get a chance, check out Art Lore Studio. This is Pam Davis. Stephen Trahosky was born and raised in Erie, PA. As far back as he can remember, music was a big part of his family. His grandfather was a big musical influence in his life and played in the Erie Philharmonic. Steve is married to Lena Lagvinia. They have two children together, Artem and Mila. Steve started getting into music during his middle school year where he started singing and messing around with music. He remembers as a teenager being inspired by many of the local musicians around town that he used to watch at the local festivals or even standing outside of local clubs and listening while they played. Eventually, this led to Steve becoming serious with the bass guitar at around the age of 17. Steve says that everything he does with music as far as writing, composing, or performing is done with the bass guitar. Picking up the bass guitar has led Steve to play in a and form many bands around the Erie music scene, as, such as Asthma Beat, Is What It Is, Art Groupies, and Three Ball. Through his music, one of Steve's goals is to provide an enjoyable experience for both the listener and himself. He does this through jazz music, which he has a passion for. He says that he chose jazz because it was formed with a communal, communal focus. This attracted him to this music because he is a lover of community. As Steve reflects on his music career, he hopes that he has shown people to stay true to what you believe in and be yourself. Promoting diversity was and still is a powerful factor in Steve's purpose for playing music. And I'll make sure that Steve um, gets his award. Um, like I said, Steve, uh, he, he never, he had to really be sick not to come today. And who knows what else is going on. So um, before we go on to each side edition, I want to bring one at a time. See, my band members, they say, they know, we do a lot of gigs every year. We, I mean, we play a lot. And we rehearse a lot. And sometimes when I get off work, I really don't want to rehearse, and I know they don't want to either. But you got to do it if you want to. You want to keep playing. You got to. You got to put the work in. We do a lot of events like this, a lot of community events, and they they stay by my side no matter what. They say, Mo, do you ever sleep? Because. Like 3 o'clock in the morning, I'll be like, hey, man, I want to do this song. Yo, anybody up? I guess that's the life of a band leader. I heard James Brown used to do the same thing. His right-hand man said he never went to sleep because he knew James would be like 3.30 in the morning. Let's go in the studio and record. 
So I guess when you're a band leader, that's the way it is. You, you're always thinking about it. It's always on your mind. And my band members, I want to call them out here because we, they do a lot of this stuff for me, and they don't, they don't get paid for any of these events like this. And they bring their instruments out here. I want to bring Mr. Kenny Hollis out here. Mr. Kenny Hollis. I'm going to give them each a certificate because they, would you stand over here, Kenny? Well, all you guys are stand over here. We, we honor. Kenny uh, is a legend around here if you guys don't know Kenny Hollis, man. Seriously. And as good as Kenny is, he understands what it's to be a part of a team. He understands that. Some people don't get that. Some musicians are really good. They don't understand that. And that's why they're not really in bands, because they don't understand team. Kenny understands that. I want to bring Mr. Kevin Saffer out here. He's our trumpet player. You, you won't meet a greater guy than Mr. Kevin Sapper. He just does whatever his hands can do, seriously. And, and our joke has always been that he's the only black guy in the band. I don't know if you guys noticed that. <laughs> we like, man, why are you hanging all us white folks? What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> One of the baddest drummers in the tri-state area one of the best. When I first met him, he was bad, but he was kind of all over the place. And I used to get on him, like Barry used to get on me. And he used to look at me like, who does this man think he's talking to? Then one night I was laying in bed, because when I get home from the shows, I listen to the shows, because I record a lot of them. I don't go to bed at 5 o'clock in the morning. And I said, you know what? He finally got it. He just played five songs in a row, and he didn't do one roll, except when necessary. I said, he finally got it, and he's become one of the best. As good as he is, he's humble enough to drive and do what our band has to do. Mr. Clarence Jennings, Jr. <laughs> Next up, one of our vocalists. She also helps us to coordinate our dress. Um, she also has helped to start choreographing steps on stage. I mean, they get a workout on stage when they're up there. They don't just stay to get a workout. And they, have to, they sing all night. She's the Tina Turner in our band. Whenever we want to do songs like that, that just take all that power and energy. She's also been a close friend of mine for, for a long time. I want to bring out Miss Pamela Davis. And the, the newest member of our group, but she's not new anymore. Um, she was really shy when she came to our band. If, if I would have allowed her to sing behind a curtain, she would have said, been totally fine with that. She would have sounded really good, but she would have stayed behind the curtain. And uh, I give her a lot of songs, too. She, and both of these ladies have had to take a lot of songs on the last three or four months. We, we had another singer in our band, Miss Noah Hobson. She was a keyboard player also. She sang a, a significant portion of our songs. Noah's lo no longer with us. Um, she was with us five and a half years. She made, Noah made us better. Noah's really good. Um, she's a choir director at Antioch Baptist Church. Um, and she, she believes in the music being played. When you hear it on a CD, she wants to play it like that. So, um, but back to uh, Miss Rosia Crockett. Um, she's, she's really talented. I believe she's one of the top singers in, in the area. And I always have to ask her, hey, am I giving you too many songs? She'll say, no, no, you're not giving me too many of them. So... She's really humble, too, to be as good as she is. Give it up to Miss Rosia Crockett. Yeah. 
So I just wanted to bring the band up because they do a lot, and I asked them to do a lot. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Okay, we were supposed to have a, a drum solo, I believe. So instead of doing that, um, I'm going to see if, is Young Scholar still in the house? I'm going to see if he can come up and do another one of his songs instead of that. Mr. Dehan Lomax couldn't be here. See, I, I believe in giving the young people opportunities. Dehan Lomax is an Erie High School student. I am an assistant principal at Erie High School. He's a really good up-and-coming drummer, so I was going to have him come down here and do a drum solo for you. I also want to say hi to... Um, is Matt Jones still in the house? Is he still here? Matt Jones still here? He's one of the people that work with me at Erie High School, so I'm glad he came down here. Young Scholar. Drugs and violence, oh Jesus silent, young Jesus wildin', they got no goddess, it's got so crazy, so 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 crazy, it's got so crazy, so 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 crazy. Drugs and violence, oh Jesus silent, young Jesus wildin', they got no goddess, it's got so crazy, so 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 crazy, it's got so crazy. Yeah, hey, it's to the point where I feel like giving up, cause some old heads feel like tweaking and getting drunk. Got young G's wildin', yeah, like they with trunks, they raising to sell drugs just so they can make some bucks. So the young G's grow up going crazy, understandably. Preaching to the kids like do drugs and use profanity. Old heads looking back quiet, it's just insanity. All these young rappers dying, honestly, it's scaring me. Like Jimmy and X, man, they went too early. He couldn't get the Louis bag, so he did him dirty. Now I'm watching the way I move, cause they could up that 30. Run up on me with the strap and end my journey. Some young G's popping pills just for the fun of it. Peeping Mac is crazy two legends is gonna be because of it so many young people pass and OG stand silent all these innocent people gone because of drugs and violence drugs and violence oh Jesus silent young Jesus wildin', they got no goddess it's got so crazy hey it's got so crazy so 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 crazy drugs and violence oh Jesus silent young Jesus wildin', they got no goddess it's got so crazy so 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 crazy it's got so crazy so 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 crazy Crazy. Thank you. When I, when I first start um, playing music in Erie, um, one of the bands that was uh, playing a lot around town it was called the East Side Edition Band. And um, when you talk about soul, a soul band, that was a soul band. I remember being in the Docksider one night, and they were playing. And this guy said to me, he said, um, who's that guy singing? He said, man, that guy should be in Hollywood. He said he can sing some soul. The East Side Edition Band was formed back in the 80s. The band is truly a soul band that delivered true soul, true soul shows to audiences from Erie all the way to Atlanta, Georgia. The band was led by two members of the great, and I say great, Tate family. My wife is a Tate, that's so, so you know. <laughs> so I got to accentuate that great. They are great. Mr. Evangel Chicken Tate and Mr. James Tate were the leaders of the East Side Edition Band. They were always so nice to me. Always so nice to me. Many other local musicians performed with the band, but
But the two main leaders were James and Chicken. Now, not only was the band groovy, but they came dressed, too. They came dressed to the T every gig. They came dressed to impress. At a show, you might hear, hey, hey, the blues is all right. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, that's, that'd be chicken saying that. <laughs> He'd be saying, hey, fellas. Where to keep it do my thing? Like a sex machine, man. <laughs> Then he would say, if I could turn back the hands of time. I, I could turn back the hands of time. If I could turn back the... They did songs like that. Real soul songs. And who could ever fit, forget, I ain't gonna go into it. I just want to be your candy liquor, babe. <laughs> Who could ever forget that one, man? <laughs> The band was so much fun and soul. I really like, really love these guys because whenever they had a gig, they would invite me. I played in 2006 with them at the Erie Art Museum Jazz and Blues Festival. I appreciate them so much. At this time, I would like to introduce to you the leaders of the East Side Edition Band, all the way from out where the JFK Center was. Mr. James Tate and Mr. Emanuel Chickens Tate. We'd like to bring them to the stage for you right now. Give them a round of applause, y'all. Chick is one of the best to ever do it when it comes to singing soul. One of the best. My mother said, that man has a gift. Give it up for Mr. Chicken Tate, y'all. So in recognition I want to present to the East Side Edition Band the Musical Excellence Award presented to the East Side Edition Band in recognition of your dedication, excellence, and the lifelong contribution you made to music in Erie, both in the bars and clubs, but in the churches too, because you did that too. Thank you from Odessa's Place and Maurice Troop. First of all, I would like to say, how's everybody doing? <laughs> we're, gonna be, we're gonna make it better. And uh, I want to say that it's a pleasure to be here now. And uh, I, have been, I have had some good times in every, and uh, I'm just a little bit, uh, It's best to read it, but I thank you for the opportunity. 
that you gave me. Thank you, Chris. All right, everybody. Actually, these guys started in like 1966. You remember the Temptations? They called themselves the Tatations. And they, that's when they start moving around here in the city of Erie, practicing at my mother's house in the basement till my dad kicked them out. And, uh, it was a good time back then. And, you know, getting back to Mo, his grandmother and my mother used to sing and play around the city because his, his grandmother was an excellent piano player. And she played for my mother, and she also was an excellent singer. And I just appreciate you and what you're doing for everybody. Thank you. One, one of the things I love about being in the Tate family is that they can really cook. <laughs> Listen, when I tell you cook, really cook. If you like soul food, you haven't tasted soul food until you taste some of their food. Before we go to Duke Sherman Band, I want to turn to the, if you would turn to the back of the uh, program for a minute. Uh, once again, um, all proceeds that are made tonight are going to the Shriners Hospital in Odessa's place. Um, if you look at the Did You Know section, um, if, if you take a look at those, I try to spread knowledge about different parts of history. And the reason why I do that is I'm, a, I'm, an, I'm an educator in school. And um, one month I taught the kids in my classroom about 50 different um, people, African Americans, black people that you never hear about. Not like Martin Luther King and you know, people like that you always hear about. Different people. And never did I see kids motivated more than when they were learning about their history. And at the end of the month, I said to them, does any of this surprise you? And I was teaching fifth graders at the time at Deal School. And one young lady who's at Erie High School now where I work at, she said, Mr. True, I hope I don't get in trouble for saying this, but I'm surprised because I never thought black people did anything. And that's what she told me. So that's why I give out this information because a lot of things that are in this country were made by different people, and we don't always hear about it. So when you get some time, um, you know, we owe so much to Mr. Carter G. Woodson, who's on the back there, who decided that he was a scholar, professor, who said, you know what, we have history here in this country, just like everybody else. It's very important that people know our history. And he, he came up with something called Negro History Week at the time. That evolved into Black History Month. That was Mr. Carter G. Woodson. I talked to the kids about the gas mask, the traffic light. Mr. Garrett A. Morgan invented those. Ella Fitzgerald, Count Basie, the first African Americans to ever win a Grammy. I believe it was 1969, I believe. They won it for jazz, too. Madam C.J. Walker, her story is that she had a dream one day. Her hair was, she was losing her hair. And she was wondering, how can she save her hair? So she said she had a dream. And in the dream, she said the Lord showed her this mix of products. And she started making those products. And she became the first self-made woman to be a millionaire of any race in America through her products. Okay, and then also on there, Dr. Shirley Jackson, the first black woman to receive a doctorate in nuclear physics from MIT in 1973. There's so many other facts out there that we can all study from all, we, we, just, we just really need to learn about each other more. You know what I mean? I used to share an office with one of my good friends. He happens to be Italian. 
And after we got through our differences, we learned, man, hey, he grew up on peanut butter and jelly just like I did. So we spend that real time together, we can understand that we're not really as different as what we think. Also want to uh, thank you, uh, Odessa's Place, and also the Breeze Band, and also Mr. Brian Waller from Wild Sound Productions, who's doing the song today. Okay, back to the program. About 20 years ago, I met uh, Mr. Barry Sherman, they call him Duke. I met him at uh, Roger's jam session, Roger Montgomery's jam session. He was playing guitar. I also met Mr. Otis James at the, at the jam session. I met Mr. Rick Cass at the jam sessions. I met Mr. Mark Murphy at the jam session. And we had a blues band at the time called By Popular Demand, and they used to come out and see us play, and then we would go see them play. They developed into one of the area's best blues bands, best bands, period. One of the most book bands around town. Um, when I do any events, I, I always call those guys, and Duke always says, well, who's making any, is anybody making any money? I'll say, no. He says, then we'll do it. They, they've always been so helpful to me, and I really appreciate those guys. Uh, reading their bio tonight is going to be Miss Rosia Crockett from the Breeze Band. In the late 1990s, Nino's Blues Project, a local blues band, hired a young punk, <clears throat> hired a young punk in his 20s who didn't know much other than how to play a little guitar. He had no idea how much he was about to be schooled by Nino Car Cargren, Bob Grant, Barry King, about the music business, playing an instrument, excuse me, sorry, about the music business, about life, and about the blues, and about performing and not just playing an instrument on stage. Within a year, Nino hired another young punk in his 20s named Murph to play bass. Murph was a proficient musician, but had never played blues before. Like the first punk, he had no idea how much he would learn from Nino and Bob. Nino's Blues Project's popularity took the area by surprise and quickly built a lo loyal following. After about two years together, Duke brought the band to an end when he announced that he had accepted an opportunity to take a new daytime job on the West Coast. With this news, Nino took an offer to play drums for, the Jake's, for Jake's Blues. Bob and Murph were left without an immediate opportunity to continue playing out. As things sometimes turn out, Duke's plans and his future changed and he found himself staying in Erie without a band. Duke reached out to Murph and Bob, who were still available, and the Duke Sherman Blues Band was born. Bob Grant was featured as singer throughout each gig. The Duke Sherman Blues Band played the tri-state area for two years before being devastated by the death of Bob. Bob was not just a bandmate. He was a mentor and a close friend. The guys knew that Bob would have wanted them to carry on, and so they did. Later that same year, now as a trio, Duke and Murph found themselves needing a drummer. About the same time, the Norcross James Band, another well-known area blues band, was on the verge of disbanding. Duke and Murph caught wind of it and called up two of its members, Rick Cass and Otis James, to talk about joining forces. Around the table at Scotty's over a few cocktails, the Duke Sherman Band was formed. The new lineup with Rick Cass on drums and Otis James on harmonica became one of the most booked bands in the area. They played any stage they could and enjoyed sharing the stage and splitting bills with national acts as they passed throughout Erie. The four jailed quickly and it showed on stage. The crowds felt the connection and energy and the band had a following that continued to expand. 
The Duke Sherman Band played every kind of stage, from the tiny, squishy, trampoline-filling stage at Geno's 21st and Peach, to the expansive Blues and Jazz Fest stage, and at home bases like the Moonlight Lounge, and later Nelson's at 11th and State, which would later become the Vermont Tavern. It's not common for four guys to stay in a band together for almost two decades, remain drama-free, and be as cohesive as they were, but that's exactly what happened. Throughout the years, as music trends came and went, the Duke Sherman Band has always stayed true to its roots of the blues. Duke and Murph are still using the lessons they learned all those years ago from Nino and Bob. And as long as the band exists, all four of the guys are proud to remain committed to spreading the message of the blues with their own stamp on it. It is my pleasure to welcome Duke Sherman Band to the stage. Please give them a round of applause. Mr. Barry Sherman, Otis James, Mark Murphy, Richard Cass. The Musical Excellence Award is presented to Duke Sherman Band in recognition of your decades of dedication, excellence, and lifelong contribution to music in Erie, PA, in the tri-state area. February 2020, thank you for, from Odessa's place and myself. Appreciate you guys, thank you very much. Nobody else wants to say anything, so. You know, from where we came from, um, blues is something that is uh, strictly from the United States. I mean, it didn't come from anywhere else, right? And it's one of those things that, um, when you talk Black History Month and, and recognizing that it's something that didn't exist um, before, Slavery, and unfortunately, that was what created that. But out of that came this music with this soul and this feeling that has gone beyond races for for decades now. And it's something that um, you know, to the extent where growing up in the '70s with uh, you know a, a mom that liked uh, Charlie Pride and uh, a couple other country guys, and my dad liked. Um, Montevani Orchestra, and my sister um, fortunately liked Earth, Wind, and Fire, but also like Barry Manilow and Carly Simon. Um, you know, growing up in the 80s and hearing all the synth pop bands and everything, that's where I grew up on, but learning to play guitar, um, I was exposed to Stevie Ray Vaughan and found out through listening to him who he stole everything from, and it turned out to be all these, you know, great, great original blues masters. So um, it's been a privilege to play not only blues, but also for the past couple decades with these fine musicians with me here. We've had a blast playing, and we're so happy that everybody has enjoyed it enough to keep us around. So uh, we thank you guys for, for hanging out with us for all these years. And um, if you don't mind, we're going to play a couple songs.
I love you, honey. Tell the world I do. God knows I love you, baby. Tell the world I do. Why I do anything just to be close to you. I got so much love now, but I don't know what to do. I've got so much love now, I don't know what to do. Why I do anything just to be loved by you. I want to hug you, kiss you, squeeze you till my walls fall off. I want to hug you, kiss you, squeeze you till my walls fall off. God knows I love you, honey. I tell you all that I do. Tell him just how much old. So much trouble now, but I don't know what to do. I've got so much trouble now, I don't know what to do. Well, I'd do anything just to be loved by you. I want to hug you, kiss you, squeeze you till my arms fall off. I want to hug you, kiss you. Squeeze your two balls, fall out. God knows I love you, honey. I tell the world that I do. You till my walls fall off. I wanna hug you, kiss you, squeeze you till my walls fall. God knows I love you, honey. I tell the world that I do.
Do such mean things to me. Won't you tell me, people, why you gotta do such mean things to me? I don't wanna cause no trouble. trouble, but I don't want to go insane. My love was on honey Just like that on ball and chain I want to cause a trouble Gonna live for eternity Love's gonna last for eternity. Now that old ball of wall and
Thank you so much. Give it up to Duke Sherman Band, everybody. Hey, Mo, can we do one more 30-second one? We okay, go ahead. Hey, uh, these guys are pretty good, aren't they? They play around town a lot, so go check them out when you get a chance. Before they do the, last, the next song, I want to uh, say hi to Mr. Andre Horton, who's out there, one of our county councilmen. I appreciate seeing you there. Thank you. Thanks for coming. The only reason I asked that mode is because we never leave a stage without playing this song. It just don't feel right if we don't. So we're going to need you guys to help, okay? You're working, but it just don't work on you. I got my mind, you're working, but it just don't work on you. I want to love you so bad till I don't know what to do. I got this gypsy woman, she giving me advice. I got this gypsy woman, she giving me advice. I'm gonna teach all you women how to treat me nice. I got my mojo working, got my mojo working. I got my mojo working, got my mojo working. I got my mojo working. Got my mojo working. I got my mojo working. I got my mojo working. It just don't work on you. Let's go around that doctor. I got my mojo working. Got my. I got my mojo working. Got my. I got my work. I got my mojo working. Got my. I got my mojo working, but it just don't work on you. Thank you guys. I got my mojo working. Got my mojo working. Got my mojo working. Got my mojo working. I got my mojo working. But it just don't work on you. Yeah. Thank you for the recognition, Mo. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Duke Sherman Band. That's one of my favorite blues songs of all time, Mr. Muddy Waters. So thanks for playing that one, Duke. Okay, next up on the program, what we have left tonight is uh, we're going to have Jack Stevenson from a band called The Mix. He's going to do a couple of selections. Then we're going to bring the Breeze Band up to do one more selection. And then after that, if you guys have a few minutes, I'd like to try to get as many mus musicians as we can up on stage and just do one last blues song together and let these guys just all jam together. We're going to bring, is Brittany still out there? We'll bring her up here. We're just going to have a big old jam session on stage. We're going to bring everybody up. Mr. Jack Stevenson from The Mix. Oh yeah, I, for, I forgot. How could I forget? We're gonna, my favorite band of all time. We gotta do that tonight too. And I saved them for, I saved them for last because I, just, I believe that's, they would call that the headliner. And that's why I did that. We're gonna honor One World Tribe tonight. How many of y'all remember One World Tribe playing around here, man? You know what I remember about One World Tribe was that, like in Erie, they bring in bands to do Celebrate Erie, like big name bands. 
One World Tribe used to be the band they used to have headlining. Not, not, a, not a big name band. One World Tribe was the band that was doing it. Every show, and I just fell in love with One World Tribe, man. I've never seen a band like One World Tribe in Erie, Pennsylvania, so we're gonna honor them today. Well, this is my uh, third year doing this, and I want to thank Mo again for uh, letting me come up and play a couple of songs here. Brian, this is plugged in yet. Hold your ears, everybody. All righty. Well, it's very nice to be here. My name is Jack Stevenson. I'm Brian, you got me? Yep. It's a little number that, uh, uh, it's a Bob Dylan song, and uh, many of his songs go, so many words, it's hard to remember them, so I got a couple of sheet, cheat sheets up here. But uh, as with many Bob Dylan songs, they uh, still hold true today like they did back in the 60s. And this is one of them. Come gather round people wherever you roam And admit that the water That it soon you'll be drenched to the bone If your time to you is worth saving So you better start swimming or you sink like a stone For the times they are a-changing Come riders and skies with your pen Keep your eyes wide open, the chance won't come again Don't speak too soon, or the wheel's still in spin And there's no telling who that it's naming Or the losers now will later to win Cause the times they are a-changing Come senators, congressmen, please heed the call Don't stand in the doorway, don't block up the hall Oh, he who gets hurt will be he who has stalled There's a battle outside that's a raging It'll shake your windows and rattle your wall for the times they are a-changing Our mothers and fathers throughout the land Don't criticize what you can't understand Your sons and your daughters are beyond your command Your old road is rapidly aging Please get out of the new one if you can't lend a hand For the times they are a-changing The line is drawn because it is cast The slow one now will later be fast Present is now, will later be past. The order is rapidly fading, and the first one now will later be last. Of the times they are changing, all the times they are. All the times they are changing. 
All right, how'd you like that one? Right, that still holds true today. Lots of things have changed since back in those days. Still lots more can change, and that's one thing I like about uh, the music community in Erie and Mo and a number of my friends that I go out to and a number of my musician friends that are out there. Uh, it's always good to see you, and everybody comes together for good causes and good things and make some lifelong friends. This next one, I'm going to play one more song, and then we'll get the Breeze Band back up here. Um, this next one um, is, was written by a band that you wouldn't necessarily uh, equate with uh, racial songs that related to racial tension, but uh, they did know what was going on here in America. It's a song by the Beatles, and more specifically, Paul McCartney wrote it, and... Um, the story he tells about writing this song, it was called, it's on, the, it's, uh, on an album, The Beatles, called, it was called The Beatles. A lot of us know it as the White Album. But uh, anyway, Paul, uh, the story he told was he uh, uh, was watching American TV. It could have been on one of their tours. And uh, it, it was in the 60s. And uh, the news story that was on, uh, there was a young black girl. And uh, she was visibly upset and crying, and uh, it affected Paul. And, uh, you know, as uh, many musicians here, you know, when we see some of the effects, I say, well, we, we, we're going to write a song about it. Uh, you know, we got to say something about it, and, and uh, that's what's nice about being a musician sometimes. So anyway, he wanted to write a song about um, this black girl. Now, keep that in mind, and there's a little semantic change between things in here and in, in, in England. Now, in, in America, they, uh, a, a, a slang term that guys will use if you see a young, a young girl around or, or you know, a young woman, young lady, say, hey, who's that, who's that chick over there? Who's that? You know? And that's uh, a, a word that we use here in America sometimes. Um, but they didn't use that word in England. Uh, they, they didn't use the word chick. They used the word bird, B-I-R-D, bird. And uh, so to circle back to where Paul was, he wrote this song, and many people don't know the reason behind it, but the song's called Blackbird, which can be taken two ways, as a blackbird that's out the, well, you know, a bird flying around, but really it was supposed to be black girl, okay? And he wrote this song about that. And uh, so Mo had a lot of nice speeches today, so... This one goes out to uh, all the young black ladies that I see out here. Uh, Brittany, Pam, Sita, who are some of my favorites, people that I love to take selfies with, with when I go out and see their bands playing. We're gonna see if I can make it through this one. If I got time, I was thinking Mo might get the hook out and pull me off, but I know it's too long to start. But this song goes out to you guys, and uh, it's called Blackbird, and it's by the Beatles. We're gonna see if I can get through it with some finger picking here. Here we go. Blackbird sing in the dead of night Take these broken wings and learn to fly All your life You were only waiting for the small mind to arrive Blackbird singing in the dead of night Take these sunken eyes and learn to see All your life You were only waiting for this moment to be free Blackbird fly Blackbird fly Into the light of the dark black night Blackbird singing 
sing in the dead of night Take these broken wings and learn to fly All your life You were only waiting for this moment to arrive You were only waiting for this moment to arrive Waiting for this moment to arrive. All righty. Well, you guys have a great night. Thanks again, Mo. Jack Stevenson, give it up. When it comes to music, Jack supports everybody. <laughs> and not only does it support him, he takes pictures of you and he takes videos of you. And that's like one of the biggest things you can do for a band is promote them. So thank you very much, Jack. I'm going to call the Breeze Band up. And then we're going to do uh, Honor One World Tribe. And then finally at the end, we will call all the musicians up. And we'll do a one blues sound song together. And that'll be it. Thank you for coming out tonight. Thank you very much. We'll, we're, we'll do this again next year. Check. It's a little tribute to uh, Ike and Tina Turner. You know, every now and then, I think you like to hear something from us nice and easy. But you see, there's just one thing, we don't ever do nothing nice and easy. We always do things nice and rough. So I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the beginning of the song, and we're gonna do it easy. And then we're gonna do the finish rough. And that's the way we do, Proud Mary. And we're rolling, 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 rolling on the river. Rolling on Listen to the, the story river. now. Left a good job in the city, working for the man every night and day. And I never lost one minute of sleep. I was worrying about the way things might have been. Now, big wheel keep on turning. Proud Mary keep on burning. And we're rolling, 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 yeah. in Memphis and I pumped a lot of tame down in New Orleans but I never saw the good side of the city until I hitched a ride on the river for Queen now big wheel keep on turning Proud Mary, keep on burning, and we're rolling, rolling, rolling here, yeah. rolling, rolling on a river, rolling on a river. Said we're rolling, rolling, rolling here, yeah. rolling, rolling, rolling on a river. Rolling on a river. a good job in the city working for the man every night and day and I never lost one minute of sleep I was worried about the way things might have been now big wheel keep on turning proud never keep on burning 
Say so we're rolling, 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 yeah. rolling, rolling on the river. Rolling on the river. Say so we're rolling, 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 yeah. rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. Rolling on the river. Do 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 do. A lot of plates in Memphis And I popped a lot of tang down in New Orleans But I never saw the good side of the city Until I hit a ride on a riverboat queen Now big wheel keep on turning Proud memory keep on burning And we're rolling Rolling, rolling, hell, rolling, rolling on the river Rolling on the river Said we're rolling Rolling, rolling, yeah. rolling, rolling on the river. Rolling on the river. I do, 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 do. Hey! Hey! Well, if you come down to the river. I bet you're gonna find some people who live And you don't have to worry if you got no money The people on the river are happy to give Now big wheel keep on turning Drive and we keep on burning Till we're rolling, 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 yeah. rolling, rolling on the river Rolling on the river Till we're rolling Rolling, 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 yeah. rolling, rolling on the The big wheel keep on turning, proud and we keep on running till we're rolling, 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 yeah. rolling, rolling on the river, rolling on the river till we're rolling, 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 yeah. rolling on the river, rolling on the river till we're rolling. Singing Tina Turner is not easy. It takes a lot of energy and a lot of courage, too. <laughs> Give it up for Miss Pamela Davis for singing Proud Mary. You know, that, that song is starting to grow on me because whenever we do it at a gig, I just see the ladies just start walking up. It's like, to me, it, it reminds, it's like a song that the ladies just can relate to, I guess. And I can see them, like, holding themselves when they come up to the stage. So I'm like, oh, we got to play that every set now. So... We're going to play it every gig for now because that's, that's growing on me because I can see that it's like a personal connection. Okay, at this time, I'd like to thank the Breeze Band and uh, we're going to honor my personal favorite band of all time when I got out of college. Um, I happened to be dating, actually, dating the uh, first cousin of the lead singer at the time. And so she said, hey, we're going to go see my cousin's band tonight. And uh, Mr. Ron Preach Williams is the singer of the band. And uh, I fell in love with the band because uh, the energy they had, the soul they had, the attitude they had. If you wanted to be cerebral or brainy music, they had that 
If you wanted to be wild, they had that. They had it all, man. Black, and then you, black, white would all be there. I mean, you're talking people like chomping at the bit to get in these places to see them. I was talking to this one bar owner. He told me, he said, you know, when one little tribe used to play here, we used to have to order jacks to put in the basement to keep the floor from falling in because people was dancing so much. To read their bio tonight, we have the founder of the Amera Masala Festival. Did I say that right, Lynn? Mr. Lynn Johnson. Thank you. Just a side note, you know, when I first started the festival, you know, in the mid-90s, and, um, you know, when people knew what I was trying to do, this multicultural, you know, thing that I was trying to do, is, is I kept hearing this word, this name, one world tribe, one world tribe. Why'd you get one world tribe? I never heard them yet. You know, so just as uh, this blind, like, okay, I'll do it. They didn't even hear them yet. I, I, I woke them up, found this dude right here named Kennedy. And I woke them up. And, um, and when they started, you know, hooking up and stuff, I was sweating because I'd never heard this group before. I was like, oh, man, I hope they, I hope they sound okay. <laughs> <laughs> and they started playing, man, they made me look like a genius. They made me look like a genius. Where would you get them? I don't know. I just, I just get around. I told them, you know, but yeah. And it's, they started in the mid-90s, one more tribe. They were the brainchild of Kennedy Thompson. Thompson's idea was to create a multi-ethnic, multi-racial musical ensemble that could play most musical styles that he grew up listening to, such as R&B, funk, jazz, Latin rock, reggae. The concept was an instant hit as One More Tribe became a dominating force in the eerie music scene for a decade and a half. Along with the founding members, Mike Chen, one of my favorite musicians to watch, in, in person, Kenny Hollis, Ron Williams, a.k.a. Preach, Brad Edelman, Frank Singer, Maddie Walker, Mike Mark Merchant. The group started drawing crowds at, at clubs, sh clubs and shows unparalleled in the history of the local music scene. The strength of the tribe is the truly global mindset of the group. The members' musical expertise reaches the full spectrum. Some of their members' musical D D DNA is infused with the jazz of Miles, Parker, Coltrane. Some of the, some of the other members play Mozart and, and Beethoven and, and symphony orchestras. A few grew up being fed on the musical gumbo of the 70s and early 80s that included ingredients like Sly and Family Stone, Mandrill, The Beatles, Earth, Wind, and Fire. As other members, as other members were being breastfed in, in West Africa listening to the djembe. Yet, again, some of, the, some of the members grew up listening to Tupac, P. Diddy, Public Enemy and other hip hop loudly whispering in their ear. Over the, the past two decades, the band has become a household name throughout the region, developing a strong following in parts of the Midwest in cities like Buffalo, Rochester, Syracuse, Pittsburgh, Cleveland, even down in Atlanta, Georgia. Known for their impeccable musicianship, oftentimes opening for national headliners and sometimes even upstaging those headliners, forcing them to bring their A game. Randy Berman of the Pittsburgh WDVE Radio said that the tribe is not only tighter than any band in the town, but any band that comes through their town. 
The tribe's debut CD, Unity and Diversity, produced by the current tribe guitarist Randy Jackson, was praised as a groundbreaking album. Irish Times music critic Dave Richards said, One World Tribe CD, Unity and Diversity, had more soul and brims with more vitality than half the discs that passed for music on the corporate industry. They won three Erie Rock Music Awards, three Buffalo Music Awards, the John Lennon Songwriting Prize for Best World Music Composition, as well as the 2017 Renaissance Artists and Writers Association Awards for Best Song of Social Change. For 25 years, they have helped set the standard of excellence and not only world music, but also music in this region, period. They continue to be the true keepers of the flame. Ladies and gentlemen, my friends, bad, 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 I don't want to say that word here. One world tribe, how y'all doing? <laughs> Any, any members of One World Tribe that are here, come on up to the stage. Kenny was in One World Tribe, too. Listen, anything he's been associated with has been Sky's the Limit Band, One World Tribe. We lucky enough to have them in the breeze band. So the members that are here, here's the members of One World Tribe. The, the leader of the band, Mr. Kennedy Thompson. One of the guitarists in the band, Kenny Hollis. The bass player who I, I used to love watching. He, I mean, he just pumped out them bass lines, pumped them out every night. Mr. Mike Chen. The drummer who used to play all them different types of grooves, man. Excellent. Mr. Brad Emadon. The one with the voice, man. That big old voice. Six foot five. Mr. Ron Preach Williams. Someone that we're going to honor next year. I told him we're going to honor him next year. Great guitar player. Great composer. Can do it all. Been around Erie for a long time. One of Erie's greats. Mr. Dwayne Rusty Jackson. <laughs> On the percussion, I believe, right? Mr. Ringo Brill. On the, one of the MCs in the band, on the mic, Mr. John Chili J. Norton. If I remember, I believe he used to play percussion, right? Mr. Matty Walker. And also, last but not least, one of the other guitar players in the band, he also played keyboard. Also really, really smart. Mr. Frank Singer. <laughs> Kennedy and the rest of you guys, you guys taught me how to do it, man, seriously. Just by watching you guys. The energy just showed me how a band is supposed to be. And uh, we'd like to award you with the Musical Excellence Award presented to One World Tribe in recognition of your dedication, excellence, and lifelong contribution to music. This February 2020, I'd like to thank you from Odessa's place and myself. One World Tribe, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Mo. Just like to say a few words. 
25 years ago, there was an idea to create a group that could take multiple black and brown music styles from around the world, put them under one roof. And I approached this man here, Mr. Kenny Hollis, with that idea, and he was down with it. And we ran with it. We spent two and a half years in a basement finding the right personnel, the right people. And two and a half years later, when we came out from that point on, it was magic. And we went all over this region, Syracuse, Buffalo, Rochester, Ann Arbor, Detroit, Connecticut. And everywhere we'd go, people would wonder, where are they from? I'd say, Erie, where's that? Because in Rochester, Buffalo, they don't expect some band from Erie, Pennsylvania to be blowing them off the stage. They're not ready for it. But that's what happened. Because these gentlemen up here committed to excellence. They had the fire, passion. And nobody can ever say that Erie didn't have a band that could go anywhere in this country or in this world and compete with anybody because One World Tribe did it. Word. So what we're going to do to finish out the night is we're going to have just the blues jam on stage with all the guys that were here. So we're going to have uh, Duke come back up. I believe he's still here. Otis, Mr. Barry King, Kenny Hollis, Kevin. Any of the ladies that want to come up? Rosia, Pam, Brittany. Brittany, I don't know no blues songs, but I'm going to do one that you can learn real easy. Maybe we'll do a couple of them for you. My favorite One World Tribe song, they would say, they had lyrics like, how many miles must we march for freedom? How many wars will we have to bear? Before the homeless have a world that feeds them. Before our children have a world that cares. We are one. We are. We are one. That's my favorite song by them. I, I love that song.
This thing goes like this. I'm going up. I'm going down. I'm going up, down, down, up. Anywhere you want, little road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got me doing what you want. And why you want, let me go. Rasia, come on. You got me running. You got me hiding. You got me running, hiding, hiding. Anywhere you want it, let her roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got me doing what you want me to. Anywhere you want it, let her roll. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. Bring it down, bring it down. Hey, Brittany. I want you to say, I'm going up, I'm going down. I'm, I'm going up, down, down, anywhere you want. Come on. I'm going up, I'm going down, anywhere I go. Said I'm going, going up, where I want to go. Go ahead, Brittany, go ahead. Go ahead. Say, I'm going up. I'm going, going down. down. I'm going up, up down, 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 up, up down. Anywhere you want. Anywhere I wanna go. Yeah. 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 Y'all yeah. know it better than me. Yeah. Hey, Pam, come on. You got me peeping, Pam. You got me peeping. You got me high, you got me peeping hot, hot and peep anywhere you want to let it roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got me doing what you're doing, baby, why you want to let it grow? Hey, dude, come on, man. On the trumpet.
let it roll. Kenny Hollis. Down, y'all. How about these fabulous musicians up here? Here we go, y'all. We got one more for you, and we got to get out of here, y'all. All right? How about that? This one was done by Mr. Freddie King and also made famous by Mr. Eric Clapton. It's called Tore Down. We're going to have the ladies help us a little bit in this one. Barry, why don't you take the solo on the top? Barry and Duke take a solo on the top, all right? Part A. Here we go. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Down. I'm almost level to the ground. Said I feel like this when my baby can't be found. I went to the river to jump in. My baby showed up and said, I'll tell you when I tore down. I'm almost level to the ground. Said I feel like this when my baby can't be found. I love you, babe, with all my heart and soul. I love like mine and will never grow old. I love you in the morning and the evening too. Every time you leave me, I get mad with you. Well, I'm torn down. I almost level with the ground. Well, I feel like this since my baby can't be found. Kenny Hollis! Kenny Hollis!
the drums. Under you, baby, pardon. Love like yours is out of sight. I die for you if you want me to. I really don't believe in your love is true. Well, I'm torn down. I was never with the ground. Well, I feel like this. Baby can't be found Tore down Almost level with the ground Well, I'm tore, tore down. down Almost level with the ground Get you. Well, I feel like this since my baby can't Bring be found Bring it down, y'all Bring it down I want the ladies to do something Come on, anything you want Don't matter what it is Whatever you want. Get a mic, get a mic. Get a mic, Brett. Wait till we go back around. I gotta follow her and see on this one. Give it up, everybody. Yeah. That's what you do when you don't know the words. <laughs> Before we go, I want you guys to tell each other's story. Play like one measure, and then the next person play the next measure. Tell each other's story, all right? Oh, this you start, man. One measure. Just play like four, one measure, and then, uh, then Duke, you answer. Now, Barry, you heard what they did. You do something off of that. Awesome. Hey, Duke. Duke, you heard that story, right? Next page. Next page.
Kenny Hollis. Brent Kenny, break the next page. Write the next page, man. Come on. Otis, write the next page for us. Write the next page. We're going to get out of here, y'all, in a minute. Bring it down. Every see ya. I'm gonna hear your page. Hey. I said, I said I'm torn down. Almost level to the ground. Torn down. I almost level to the ground. Yeah. Hey, Brittany, hey. what's your page say? What's your page? Something completely different. <laughs> oh, I said I'm gonna do what I want to, cause it's my own way. Yeah, I'm gonna do it, 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 that's what I do. Do it, do it. <laughs> I said I do 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 Walking with my baby, she got great big feet. There you go. She's lonely and lanky and had much to eat, but she's still my baby. And I love her just the same. I said I'm crazy about my woman. Cardonia is her name. Hey! This woman, she got great big feet. She's long, lean, and leggy, and she ain't had much to eat, but she's still my baby. And I love her just the same. You see, I'm crazy about that woman. Caronia is a name. Thank you, 
everybody. Good night. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll see you next year. Thank you. Yes.